Yeah, he brings a lot. You know, a lot of experience, um, basketball IQ, uh, multiple positions. You know, um, he's been good. Hey Doc, what enabled Lou to have the same kind of edge and intensity and effectiveness with all the different roles he's had over the years? You know, I don't know. You know, I think it's it, with us. It's obviously been a little bit of a different role, um, but he still gets to score everywhere he goes. Uh, that's because the coaches are all pretty smart. You know. He knows how to do that. Um, what I think people don't know about him is how competitive he is. You know, he, he has a, definitely an edge about him on the floor, um, and that's all good. What's that? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, right now, everyone's scheduled to play, uh, but going by practice, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. As, um, a couple of our guards went down today, so they may not be available. Does that mean Kawhi had a chance to play tomorrow? Yeah, he does. He does. I don't know if he will, but I, I think he will play in, in, in one or the, you know one or two preseason games, you know. Um, but I don't know when. Which one did you guard? All of them. No. Uh, <laughs> we saw Lou uh, no, Lou was fine. So uh, Pat went down, but not in serious. Uh, and Rodney stepped on someone's foot. That is serious. I mean, that's serious as far as long term, but I can't imagine him playing tomorrow. Coach, what should we expect from the Clippers uh, since they want to be aggressive and uh, dominate the West, or will you be like up and down? I, I have no idea. I can't even answer that question. Um, if we dominate it, I'll tell you afterwards. If we have <laughs> if we have our ups and downs, I'll tell you during it, you know, that we're having a down or up period. But uh, I don't know. I just know um, we have to just keep working on getting ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if Pat's not 100% tomorrow, he's, he's not going to play. Uh, even if he says he's playing, he's not going to play. So. With, with the personnel this year on this roster, will you have that same identity of the grit and grind? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, I think the guys we added uh, fall right in line to how we play and who we are. Um, but you really never know your identity. Um, it's not up to the coach. It never has been. It's up to the players uh, to show you what they are. Um, you know, last year I didn't know that was going to be our identity. It just became our identity. And so this year we will have one. I just don't know what it is yet. That that, uh, such a gentleman. Thank <laughs> you. I'm trying. Thank you. I'm trying. Um, Michael was saying that Lou was sending the, the team videos of him working out and, and taking care of his. Yeah, well, it's funny because, you know, in the past, Lou takes the summers off, yeah. you know. Uh, and I think uh, before we closed the facility, I was sitting in the office and I hear a ball and there's Lou out there. And I went down and asked him if he was okay uh, because that was June. And he says, no, I'm early start this year. And he's like, um, I'm, I'm getting ready for next year. And so um, unbeknownst to me, I heard from the grapevine that then he started taping his workouts and sending them to all the players. So I, th I thought that was pretty funny. Original, too. Yeah. Have you had any other player in your career do something like that? Uh, not that I know of. You know, in, in my career, we didn't have video phones. <laughs> we didn't even have, we, as a matter of fact, we didn't even have phones. Uh, we did not, there was not a cell phone until the ninth year of my career. I mean, not, not a cell phone. So we didn't have the luxury. Uh, so when a player says he's we had to take people for his word when yeah, I play. Yeah. So when he started, when Lou is starting, he's doing He's sending a message to get ready. You know, it's a good message, you know, and it's a visual message. Uh, you know, it's funny, you know, it's sometimes you can do things in just, I think he was doing it for fun so everyone can laugh, but I think he was doing it also to tell everybody, there's no way I'm the oldest guy and I can be in better shape than you when camp starts. I think that was the message. Yeah, when we walked in, we saw Lou yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, they were going at each other. It, it was good. They were talking. Uh, so I loved it. Yeah. It does because obviously um, I'm not going to put Lou on, on Kawhi. Um, but he, he took that. And, uh, and so that changed the practice tone for a little bit. That was great. We need more of those. Yeah. Well, Lou, Lou just talks so, and backs it up. Was he doing that a lot in Hawaii too? Yeah, Lou's been very aggressive. I mean, he's he's ready. So, and he knows he can score. I mean, Lou has the ultimate confidence. Yeah. Yesterday, 
Terrence was chinnerella for PG and Kawhi. Yeah. That's something that's happened more often. Yeah, Terrence is great. You know, even if he's not invited to the group, he sits and watches those two. It's amazing um, how much he wants to watch the better players and see what they do. And then you see him on a court by himself trying to do it. It's pretty cool to watch. Does Kawhi sort of raise the competitive factor in terms of closing up the players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to play with him, you know. Uh, they want to show him they can play. Um, you know, it's always a getting the trust uh, thing. You know, when you have a, a great player on your team, all the other guys want to get his trust. So he will throw the ball to them, you know, some, or just play with them. So uh, there's definitely that component on the floor. There, there's no doubt about that. How much has that made Paul answer that get on the court? Well, he's just inching. He, he wants to, you know, especially because he does everything on the floor with us until we go live. And you can see him thinking, I know I can go live. I think he really believes that. And it may be true, uh, but we're still not going to let him. All right, guys.